Cap fact, comic distribution models. This fact is going to come in two parts. The Captain America specific aspect is going to be the second part, but it requires enough backstory that I find it interesting that we're going to make it two parts. When comics were first created, they were sold in newsstands, like newspapers, and in grocery stores, so you could find them just about anywhere. One of the key features about this model was that the retailers could return any unsold product back to the publisher. And this is why the cover date on the comic is not the date that it was actually sold. This was more like the return by date. If it didn't sell by this point, you could return it for a full refund. Back in these days, comics were viewed as disposable. So the idea was you would read them and then throw them away, recycle them, or trade them off to your friends. But around the 70s, people started really focusing on collecting them and wanting to get full runs. So older issues suddenly became valuable in a way they hadn't been before. And the problem with this early newsstand model was that if you missed an issue in a month, whether because it wasn't at your store or you just didn't get to the shop in time, you were kind of out of luck since the unsold issues would be returned. But with the introduction of comic specialty stores, suddenly they could hold on to the inventory so that if you missed a month, you could just come in next month and pick up any leftover copies they had because they were targeting the specific demographic of people who wanted to read and collect those monthly issues. And out of this came the direct market, where publishers would sell to comic shops with a greater discount than the newsstands would receive, but in return, the comics wouldn't be returnable, which was okay with them because they wanted that back stock. As markets continue shifting, the, the newsstand market more or less disappeared. I don't think it's around anymore. There might be some, but for the most part, it's all directly to comic shops. But for decades, there were basically two markets, which was the newsstands, which were the non-specialty shops, and then the comic shops. And this results where for decades, there would be times when you would have the same comic that is slightly different. We have a direct issue here. So this is what would be sold to comic shops, and it has Cap's face. But to the newsstands, they would have this one, which had a barcode. So they're two different books, and they're different rarities, and some people value one or the other over the other. Now, for the most part, that's the only difference, is that little box on the cover. But there are times when it's even more different than that. Follow for part two.